Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I got my black hair back. I was really excited to get it back. I got it a couple weeks ago. Loving it right now. It's like this shiny black and it's got texture to it and I'm just loving it. And if you want to see a hair tutorial, just leave me a comment down below and I'll do one for you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is like a purple mauve felt front to it. I really, I'm not like a packaging whore. I don't care about packaging. I just, I don't know. I just, it's just a waste of time to me to talk about it. But anyway, so these are the shades. There are 14 shades in here. This is a $42 palette. I'm loving it. It's got the perfect mix of cool and warm tones. I mean, you've got like warm, it's like jumping around too. It's like cool, 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 warm, warm. There, it's like j everything is like mixed up and you can throw everything together or you can just do cool or you can just do warm. I was so excited when I first, I was not going to buy any more palettes. And when I saw this, I had to have it. I was like, this is, I just got to have it. So I like use this to create this smoky eye, this mauve purple smoky eye. And if you want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. Okay. So I went in with the Sigma blending brush. This is the E25 brush. And I'm going in with the shade warm taupe and just running that through my crease and a little bit above my crease. Okay, and then I'm going in with the E36 blending brush with the shade Bon Fresco, and I'm just putting that in the same spot. And then I'll keep going back in with the E25 and just smoothing everything out. All right, and then I'm going back in with the shade Antique Bronze and just darkening that up a little bit with that same E36 brush. I keep wiping it in between. I have one of those little wheels that you can clean it with. And I just keep deepening that up until it's the color that I want it to be. You just have to keep working it. If you're going to put dark shades on your outer corners of your eye, you really have to keep blending it and blending it and going back over it and then blending it back out and going back over it over and over and over. And then I'm going to bring the shade Cypress, Cypress Umber. I'm going to um, put that in my outer crease and bring that down a little bit for like the same length as where I put it on the top. And then I'll just smooth it all out. That's just my base, and then I'll keep going back in over top of that. See? I'm going back in and just keep on deepening it up until it's the color that I want it to be. All right, and then I'm going in with the MAC 242 brush, and I'm putting the shade Vermeer on the inner corner of my eye and just pat that down. Try not to wipe it or it'll take the color off. Just keep patting it down. And everything that I do to the top lid, I'm going to do to the bottom just to keep it even. Now I'm going in with a MAC lip pencil. This is the shade Plum. I didn't have a eye pencil that I wanted to use for this, so I just went in with a lip pencil. I don't know how that's going to do on somebody else's eye, but it didn't bother mine. Now I'm going to go in with the E06 brush by Sigma. This is the wing liner brush that I use the Maybelline gel liner, but mine was so dried out. I really had a hard time. And then I went in with the Tweezer Man eyelash curler and just curl my lashes for a few seconds. And then I'm applying L'Oreal voluminous carbon black mascara this is uh, i've had it for a while but it, i've just picked it back up and it's kind of been my favorite lately i just put that on my top and bottom lashes just coat them real good and then i'm going in with the house of lashes iconic lashes and i use their glue and i'm using the japanese um, applicator to put those on with and just sticking them right up there 
And that's it. Okay, so this is my final look. My right eye is slightly a little bit more purple than my left. And it's just because I did one eye separately so I could show you the one on camera. But overall, it looks pretty good, I think. And I'm so in love with this palette. Of course, it's beautiful. So, all right, guys. Till next time. Bye.